Hey guys, King of the North here, back with some more Chrono Trigger. Last episode, we took down the Black Tyranno, and at the end of that, the red star that was in the sky that a few people had ref uh, talked about uh, came crashing down, and we learned that that was Lavos coming to the planet and burying deep within to its core. So we'll head into Lair Ruins, where this gate appeared, and we will chase after Lavos. Boy, this is exciting. Where is this? Where where this chrono? I keep getting thrown off by her speech. Um, there's a cave over here. As you can see, it looks like it's snowing. Um, Zala had mentioned that when Lavos came, we'd be in a very long winter. So this is basically, I guess, the equivalent to a nuclear winter. You see, there's like glaciers in the water, and we're walking through. It appears to be snow, at least. But here we have something called a Skyway. We'll head into that. Walk onto this platform. And be teleported into the sky. So here we are. A uh, floating piece of land. And it seems that there's some kind of a structure here. Hasa. There's a guy here that looks like one of those people that uh, were part of the Massa Moon. We'll talk to him. This is the Eternal Kingdom of Zeal, where dreams can come true. But at what price? Everything. Welcome to Hasa, magical kingdom of Zeal. You find truth in the bliss of sleep. Dear me, and who might you be? So it seems that these people let their dreams guide their way. What strange visitors? Welcome to Zeal. Is this part of a dream? Zeal rules our magical kingdom. She is without peer in beauty and greatness. The queen has given us everything. After the king died, she nurtured magic, which has advanced the kingdom. So, uh, like I said, they're all sleeping. Well, you'll see a lot of beds, and that's where they um, get their guidance it's through their dreams. Which is probably a bad idea. Am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Or a bowling ball dreaming I'm a plate of sashimi? Never assume that what you see and feel is real. Seems like a dangerous way to live life. <clears throat> There's a uh, doll here. Do you believe in fate, which means our lives are all predetermined? Uh, no such thing as fate. You're right. We're the masters of our own destinies. Speaking of which, I believe there may be a doorway of destiny somewhere around here. So that gives us a kind of a hint as to what we're supposed to be doing. If you talk to the people in the beds, they say various things in their sleep. <clears throat> Boy says... Nothing? <laughs> What's wrong with him? A weird kid. What wrong? That animal good food. Let's talk about his cat. The black wind howls. One among you will, short, will shortly perish. What? out of the blue like what? Neela's confused. Alright. Uh, Chrono. This is kind of creepy. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little different here. Strange one. But not bad, boy. This is a spring of recovery. Heal your... Okay, so this is like the uh, Electro thing of 3000 from Robo's time period that you still feel hungry. I wonder what's inside the North Palace. I bet there's a key to it in the palace. I bet there's a key to it in the palace, but entry is strictly forbidden. I'm Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge each in turn. The door to the North Palace is sealed with a mysterious energy. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, cannot open it. Queen has sealed the elemental weapons in the North Palace. You can see its entrance on the northern continent, but no one is allowed there. It's 
like a crystal uh, pyramid thing that we saw in 600 AD, I believe it was. Welcome. What can I do for you? So we can buy stuff here. Uh, just general uh, items. Uh, actually, I have about 84 of these already. Full time. That might be worth grabbing some of these. I have a good enough. <clears throat> actually, I'll probably grab a couple of these. All right, we're good to go. I'm not going to go crazy with buying stuff right now. Okay, so there's a bit of a trick to what you have to do in this room. Uh, I believe you have to open these books in a certain order. This one is uh, water. This is air. And this one down here is fire. So go into this door here. And you see there's a new there. Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins with new and ends with new. This is the truth. This is my belief. At least for now. Alright, so we'll talk to this guy. This is actually a very tough battle coming up. Uh, hopefully I can get it in a one shot. <clears throat> Guru of Reason. It's gone. Challenge me. Okay, here we go. Now they do uh, an attack that'll do all but one damage. It's like a uh, false swipe in Pokemon. Let's see if I have the Falcon hit. It all does all but one, and then if they hit you again, there's actually a chance that it does one. It's very low, but um, it can yeah, it, it can kill you. This isn't like a guaranteed win by any means. health they are going to have left over. Yeah. Uh, nope. Did not want to do that. So Ayla's dead. Fortunately. See, the hard thing about this is the fact that they just start chaining attacks. I actually have to try and get Ayla up, I believe. Or I'm gonna have like, a really difficult time. If I can get Ayla up, I can do that Falcon swipe thing, which I really need to do. Item revive on Ayla. Item uh, full tonic on Ayla. Hopefully, hopefully, you don't have any faints here, and I can get Chrono and Ayla to hit these guys and finish them off. That's a crit, that should be the end of him.
Okay, good. So, yeah, a little bit of a tough fight there. Got a magic tab. Got a speed tab. New. So I've defeated uh, two of those now. One was in 65 million BC. In the hunting grounds, like I said, it'll start raining in the top right corner. You'll fight that. You come in here, you fight that one. But we're done in here for now. Uh, we will head to this other little hut here. Walk onto this platform. Teleported back to this land where it's just frozen waste. But you see we're on another continent. A different hut. So here we are on a different floating island. Uh, let's check out the Blackbird real quick. Here, you see the music a little more ominous. Fuck these weird dancing guys. Who, who are you guys? Everything okay with the Blackbird? Everything's a-okay, Sir Dalton. Of course it is, you idiot. Hey, you. What are you doing here? There. So, yeah, uh, a little confusing because they're sitting there having a conversation with us, like, standing in the middle, <laughs> and then they decide to acknowledge us. Ah. It was true then. You're the ones the prophet said would come and cause trouble. Let's see how you handle this little situation. I didn't think they'd make it so easy on Okay, so he doesn't actually do anything. He's just kind of talking or thinking out loud, I guess. So we'll head into Kajar here. Your power differs from ours. In you, I sense a strange aura of kindness. Combine the ancient rainbow shell and the sunstone to create an incredible weapon. To create cr incredible weapons and items. But now, only the guru of life has the skill. Elemental powers... El elemental power usage is forbidden. Blech. Ah. Plants are so content. I wish I could be one to... I wish I could be two. Blech. God. <clears throat> This is a spring of recovery. Okay, yeah, so you already did that, I believe. I think this is another book here. It's the same order as last time. That's the sun keep you see on the southern continent. A sunstone, once the source of this world's power, was kept there. But when we began using our new energy source, it was sealed up just like the North Palace. They claim we don't need the energy of this tired old planet. So that's what they're referring to as that other little island below. Here is another new. Uh, we can buy stuff off of him as well, but we just did that, so we're okay for now. I got load shields, but I cannot sell them unless the queen says it's okay. Uh, you see there's a sparkle thing at the top there. We'll get to that eventually. We've been seeing a lot of Janus lately. He appears upset and paces around. His only friend other than his sister is that stupid cat. So that's the boy. What tempest rages in his head? Queen Zeal has two heirs. Shala and Janus. Shala is an incredible child who has extraordinary magical powers. Being so gifted... She'll breeze through life. That's nice. Uh, ah, you've got an unusual aura. So they're just talking about our uh, skills again and stuff. Alright. So, similar situation with the books. Like I said, i got to find the right order. Those lacking magic have always lived beneath the clouds as the earthbound ones. After all, they lack what they, we have. And so we're back at the front here. Um, this is the water. That's fire. We don't need that yet. 
wind. And now we'll hit up the fire one. Uh, forget what that does in this area. We have another room here. The construction of the ocean palace is behind schedule. Eternal palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's done. Indeed, the great aeroplane Blackbird, which Elthasar built. When it soars in the sky, it looks alive. Elthasar is truly a genius. <clears throat> the earthbound ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the palace. So they have to do a purpose after all. They, so they do have a purpose after all. So they are basically using us as slaves, or the earthbound people as slaves. The ocean palace lies deep beneath the waves. It's a symbol of the queen's power. The palace is the source of light, which sustains all living things. Queen Zeal, the great. Um, views, I'm not sure what that... The books did. Alright, so here, uh, you can grab that shiny thing that we saw above the bookcase. We're technically behind it right now, reaching the other side. I heard Shala's powers far exceed those of her mother. Then, there's her stepbrother, Janice. He's a royal. He's of royal blood, but he doesn't seem to have a speck of magic. I'm working on a tab that will boost magical skill, but my precious products have been disappearing lately. Must be the naughty new that hid them. They love pranks. <clears throat> what can I do? Uh, beat it out of them? I don't know. I heard a strange prophecy that have come, that has come to the palace. I don't know the details, but I've heard he uncanny. I've heard he has uncanny powers. Zeal, Zeal's advances stem from a new energy source. Its power surpasses that of elementals. The gurus of life, time, and reason live in Zeal. Their skill and knowledge is supreme. So you see there's a whole bunch of news here. You haven't picked up on that yet. A guru once told me that the sunstone could store the almost infinite energy of our sun. But if its energy were used up, it would lose its glow and change into a moonstone, which you would then evolve a Nidorino, or a Nidoran, for, for, for Nidoran into Nido King or Nido Queen. Did you know a moon sun can be recharged if it if you leave it in the sun, <clears throat> but it takes eight eons, so it's unlikely for us to see that gorgeous glow again. Well, we have a time machine, kind of. Uh, water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. So that's actually the order that you're supposed to put everything. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. So we'll do that order again real quick. So this is, no, this is wind. <clears throat> this is water, which then summons wind. And then this is fire. And there's another doorway. All right, so I just, I guess I had to reset after I screwed it up the first time. There's a little doll here. You found something strange. But a black rock is inside. So that uh, black rock is actually used for a triple tech. Okay, we're going to run out of here, and we are going to go through this cave system here now. And it takes us to the top part of this. As you can see, this area, uh, even though it's behind Chrono's time period, uh, very advanced in terms of energy. And they definitely seem to have a, a much higher purpose right now than anything we've seen. So this music is rather ominous. This is the Queen's Palace, the center of Zeal Kingdom, which makes this the center of the universe. Oh, that's, I was walking under this. I keep forgetting there's another platform above me. 
Um, the source of our energy lies deep below the sea. Now that its exact location has been found, the Queen's Palace will be built. So they're talking about a power below the sea. Use the Queen's Hall to get to the Ocean Palace, which is under construction. Wandering Prophet is amazing. All his prophecies have come true. It's as if he knows the future. How eerie. So there's a prophet as well that knows the future. I thought, yeah, she's just going over this thing again. Visitors, do you like... Oh, do you like plants? Uh, yes. You want to say yes here. I think this uh, helps you out in the long run. Oh, you're just like me. But the queen ordered me to burn this sapling I received from the guru of life. He said it was a magical sapling with powers to cure the environment. What shall I do with it? Secretly plant it. You're right. Even if it is the queen's command, the guru life gave it to me. I can't burn it. I'm going to grow it with love. Someday it may save the environment. Green New Deal. All lies into that sapling. Um, there's a new here. Could you scratch my back? Uh, it seems like an odd request, but you'll want to do it. Um, thanks. Oh, you got it. Ooh. Thank you. That was the uh, new gasm. If you had an, uh, if you missed it, you would want to go back and rewatch it. New gasm. Even Balthasar is gone after designing the Blackbird and the Ocean Palace. How strange that th the three gurus who guide Zeal have all disappeared. Um. I'm actually going to save the rest of that for the next episode, but with what we just got from that new, I'm going to show you what we can do now. I'm going to head all the way back down to the previous building that we were just in. And I'm not going to cut this out because the music's pretty enjoyable. So back here in KJR, we go to this door here and talk to this new Scratch Scratch. Ooh. Scratch Scratch. Whew. Scratch Scratch. And there it is. Newgasm. And that is a magic tab. And that's the thing that uh, was stolen from this guy working at the table here. Uh, so yeah, that's going to conclude this episode, guys. We're 23 minutes in. Don't want to go too much longer. Uh, we'll clear up the rest of this area in the next episode. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all in a different time. Peace.